Welcome back to Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious. And today we're going to be making another great recipe. We're going to be making fried spaghetti with meatballs. First, we're going to start with our meatballs. What you need for these meatballs, you can use anything to make meatballs with. They're just balls of meat. But today I'm going to use hamburger, eggs, which is used as for binding, white bread, Cholula sauce, garlic salt, black pepper, a little extra salt, and some chili powder. So let's get started. This is a messy thing. First, I'm going to add my seasonings. So I got some Cholula hot sauce, and I want a little spicier, so I'm just going to pour in, you know, a couple tablespoons or teaspoons of Cholula. Garlic salt. Black pepper. Just a couple shakes. Some extra salt. Some chili powder. A couple sprinkles there. I'm going to crack some eggs. Watch out for shells. I'm going to take about three slices of bread. Drier bread or croutons would work better. Yeah, it's kind of like meatloaf, right? Well, these are meatballs, not far off. Now, I'm not a chef. I'm just a home cooking woman. I experiment with everything. I go by what feels right. Just like when I'm baking in the oven, I go by the smell. If it smells like it's done, it probably is getting close to it, or if not, already done. Now here comes the slimy part. I'm going to take all that ingredients that I just stuck in this bowl, and I'm going to mix it together until it's all combined, and you can't barely tell what one thing is from another. Now you might have to add a little bit more bread to it because you don't want them to be too wet and I think these ones are a little wet so I think I'm going to add one more slice of bread. I guess you could use flour if you wanted to but I like bread. I prefer to eat wheat bread for sandwiches and use white bread for cooking. Now these are just my own little creation with my fried spaghetti. Okay, so now we're going to go and put it in our pan. So now we're going to make our meatballs. Just take pinches of meat, about a handful size I suppose, whatever, however big you want your meatballs to be. Roll them in a ball and stick them in your pan. Yummy meatballs. I have it on like medium high heat. They don't have to be on high heat. And then we fry them until they're done. Yummy, yummy meatballs. Meatballs, meatballs. Yummy, yummy meatballs. I like my meatballs to fit in my hand. That's how big I like them. Just big enough. They feel like they can cup just like that. Now it's time to wash my hands. This is a leftover spaghetti from the night before. It's a vegetarian style. It's consisting of peas and we've got corn and some zucchini and onions that are in this spaghetti. So I want to add some meat to it because I'm really a meat lover. We are going to use a whole stick of butter to fry the spaghetti with, but we'll do that in just a little bit. So the meatballs, you cook until they're done in the middle, they're going to become firmer. It starts to get nice and brown on one side. You can see it starting to cook through the meat. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. 
I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. It rolled off the table and onto the floor. And my poor meatball, I sing no more. I don't know how it goes, but that's the song I remember from when I was a kid about meatballs. Turn it up a little higher. Put my cube of butter in there and wait for it to get hot. So I'm waiting for my butter to completely melt and then I'm just going to stick that, some of that spaghetti in this pan and start frying it in that butter. If your spaghetti is too tart or acidy, there's a trick that my mom taught me, and that was to add a pinch of sugar to your spaghetti sauce. You can cover them in a sauce. I think I'm going to add some more sauce to it. Add a little sriracha to the top of them. while they're cooking, just to give them some more spice. So I'm going to check the meatballs to see if they're done, and I'm just going to slice down the middle of them. And Some of them are more done than others, so I just want to check and make sure that I got them turned on all sides. Our spaghetti is starting to bubble with the oil that's inside the butter to the top so I know that this spaghetti is ready to be plated. We're just waiting on our meatballs now. It's kind of a candied color. It gets brighter and it becomes sweeter as you fry your spaghetti. This is a good time to add like cheese and stuff too. Put it in the middle of my plate. I'm going to add some of my meatballs to the top. On top of spaghetti, I'll cover with cheese. Time for the taste test. So I have my yummy meatballs that I'm just going to slice up a little bit so I can get a little bite of the ball in every bite of spaghetti. I guess my first taste would be off my shirt. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. So delicious. Yum. Join us next time for another great recipe on Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious. Bye, y'all. It grew into a tree. So if you eat spaghetti, I'll cover with cheese. Hold on to your meatball. Whenever you sneeze.